Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to start our new playlist which will be 48 OS 7.0. So what is new in it? If I open the GUI, you can see the GUI is same. Okay. But uh, there are several features which are new as compared to 6.4. Okay. So we will see it step by step. You can see the dashboard normal okay but there are some other features which are new in the dashboard okay in, in the if you see on the perspective of uh, visibility of the GUI second one is the network uh, DNS if you want to specify the DNS packet capture SD man feature is also there over here static routes policy routes the routing protocols my policy objects, firewall policies, address groups and everything. Security profiles are also there. VPN, IPsec tunnels, user authentication system. Okay, now this is a here we can see the new features. If I go into settings or if I go into the feature visibility, the options which are not enabled you can enable them. The email filtering proxy, big application firewall, ZTNA, and everything, ICAP, load balances, local in policies, multi cache policy, and everything. This is a VPN. Okay. Now I'll apply on it. Now, if I go into the security policies, the options are more. Policy, uh, here you can see for policy and objects. I can see inside DNA. Now, how we are going to study this? I will just give you a normal example. Uh, if I want to configure, I have configured the interfaces. Okay, so you don't need to worry, it's normal like 6.4. If I go into code 3, I want to go into online help. Okay, so what all I am going to cover, cover in this topic. I will explain you. I will be explaining each and everything like what comes under network, okay, what come in, comes under SD WAN and policy and object, security profiles, VPN, user and authentication. But uh, I will try my best, okay, to deliver the lab based knowledge to you guys. Now, this is a lab based scenario so I am not guaranteeing that uh, I will be covering each and every topic because some features are not uh, you know I cannot prove them in real life environment because this is uh, in lab lab environment because this is not a real life environment okay so some things require licenses like security policies these, these things to work properly they require licenses okay We are going to do the troubleshooting part as well. Login report. So stay tuned for the video. This was just a heads up video that from now onwards I am preparing the I am started preparing the videos for these topics. Okay, I am not telling that I will be continuously uploading the videos, but uh, I will try my best. So thank you so much, guys.